Okay, so let's move on to the next feature. This one is going to be from me, and it's an observer mode for custom battles. And that's pretty much self-explanatory, nothing much to say there. For, um, for tournament organizers to, well, basically not interfere with their random cavalry spotting and, and stuff like that. Nice. What do you think? Okay, I, that's too much straightforward. There's nothing really to debate. Do you want it or not in the game? Do you think it's important to have it or meh? I mean, I think it's a... Uh, I mean, I'm no computer programmer, but it seems like a relatively easy feature to, to add to, to a game like Arena. And so I think there's not a lot you can sort of lose by adding that kind of feature, uh, apart from people sort of like using it to to sort of snipe in a way, you know, like get your friend to to have a look at what, what the enemy team's doing or something. But in the grand scheme of things, I think that the ability for people to be able to like uh, commentate on games, especially if they're like competition games, which uh, I know that like obviously Sun Tzu is, is quite interested in as a community, those sort of uh, tournaments. Uh, and obviously having a, an observer mode is a lot better than having someone with tier one units sitting in the corner. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it would be a positive thing. Yeah, the thing you mentioned with sniping, you know, it actually isn't a problem because it, I, as I said, I specified it's for custom battles only, where, you know, you have everything under control and you see who would be an observer, right? So it's not like you can join as an observer and be oh, hidden yeah, from everyone. be able to see when they join the lobby, yeah, who's going to, yeah, okay. I yeah, see, so see. that's not an issue. It's you know in a con completely controlled environment, so uh, it's it's not an issue at all. But funny you mentioned it because they did introduce an observer mode for actual live battles with a three minute delay, but still, you know, um, back in the day, and I think it still is a feature, but in a different game mode. But whatever, it's still an issue because I, I can start playing a battle. I can have a friend that three minutes later jumps into that into that battle as an observer and tells me enemy artillery position, which is not likely to change in three minutes. Right? Or when yeah. where someone deployed stakes inside a tall grass. He can toggle, you know, to the enemy view. And those stakes are also likely to not have disappeared within the next three minutes, depending on where they are. So that is actually a game breaking feature and I told them that back in the day and they still haven't removed it. Because they apparently don't see a a problem with people uh, you know actually using it for sniping so i'm happy you brought it up george but let's keep on the topic of actual features and you know in uh implanting them in the game rather than removing the shitty features that are right now astolfo your thoughts about the observer mode personally I love observer modes i've always loved them being able to download a replay makes it so much easier to do commentary or whatever you want on it just makes so much more available availability to uh, content creation. Um, I would say that for live games uh, that are public, it should be a replay download thing instead of a spectate thing. And for custom games, you should be able to have spectate, and it should be up to the tournament organizers and the rule makers to hold people accountable. Because if you have someone cheating in a tournament, they shouldn't be in the tournament in the first place. I mean, as, as long as, you know, you are a tournament organizer, right, and you host the lobby or you have a judge um, or referee that hosts the lobby, um, you know, they can easily control it. They see everyone who is an observer, not a problem, as long as, you know, the feature is actually designed that way. But they really doubt CA would be stupid enough to implement it in, in a different way. Um, and funny you mentioned replays. That is actually something that I also had in mind, uh, but I forgot to write it down. So let me briefly talk about the replays. Um, you can obviously, you have the replay download sort of thing, um, where everyone on your friends list, now you can go to replays, you can see your own replays, and you can see your friends' replays. And you can already view your friends' replays. So for content creation, it's already there, actually. Um, and I already used it for, you know, like Battle of the Week, uh, someone submitted to me. It's like, yo, this battle was great, go watch it. And then I did. Um, so yeah, that's that's already there, and that's pretty great. So thank you, CA, for implementing that. Um, but an improvement to replay system is 
to have them backwards compatible with previous patches. Um, that sort of thing was still there in Napoleon Total War. So I can launch Napoleon Total War now, and I can still watch my replay from 2010, when the game came out, and it still will be exactly as it happened then, even though there were like 20 patches in between. No issue. So it is possible in Total War games to you know have replays that are backwards compatible. They just don't work like that in Total War Arena and in newer games. I believe Shogun 2 also had backwards compatible replays until they introduced um, Rise, no, Fall of the Samurai. Once the Fall of the Samurai update came, uh, all the replays from all their patches broke. So yeah, I would just like the backwards compatible replays because that would be great for content creation as well, where you have a really cool battle uh, but the patch is tomorrow and you just don't have time to record it today and well th then it's gone so this one's know. close to my heart because um i tried to do a league of legends series i rode the diamond series and i went something like oh god i had 20 games that i had played and saved and i had only lost two of them and uh it was going amazingly the patch hit and all the files were gone and i was like oh why? Yeah, um, now that you mention it, it actually reminds me that um, I think since Warhammer 1 or 2, they introduced a feature along the way that you can actually um, go back on a patch. We just right click the game in Steam, go properties, and then you can, where you have betas to select, you can actually select previous patches. But I don't know how far back it goes because I never really used it, never had a reason to. But yeah. on Steam, I believe you can go back as far as you like. Um, I know for certain games, you definitely can go back as far as you like, but uh, I, I don't know for um, how that would work because it's because of the way you launch the game now. Obviously, I, I it's kind of like a standalone thing. I, I don't know how that would work, but yeah, the, the is, implementation it is, itself in Arena can be iffy. That's why I think just make the replay so that they're backwards compatible with newer patches or older patches. Um, no, newer patches. Um, instead of, you know, actually reverting the game to a previous patch just to watch a replay. That's way more of a hassle, both, you know, for the users themselves and for the developers. So, yeah, just make the replays just the way they were up to Napoleon, when they just, you know, fucking worked. So I think we can agree on that, and let's go to the next feature. George, take it away.